Greetings and salutations and welcome to my event video. Today is the beginning of Cadmus being the 1st of December. If you don't know what Cadmus is, it's the whole process and actual design of all festive things during the month of December and near Christmas time. So we're going to start with the ball ball and then further on I'm probably going to make more videos than I normally do. I'm going to focus on some more deck to decorations so I'm getting a bit more advanced and we're going to have a bit more fun doing it. So let's get to it with the ball ball. Also, I actually did this last year, this is a bit of a project I did, this last year's bubble, and this is one I made moments earlier, but I haven't actually coloured it, coloured it yet. So let's make a part, and we're going to start with a 2D sketch, and we're going to make a line, and we're going to define it as 50, and then we use our constraint here, horizontal constraint, and that just snaps it up top, click OK. And we're then going to grab an arc, and we're going to make that perpendicular to the line we just made. Click OK. Next job, we're going to make the actual head of it, so we're going to make go up to 10. Okay, okay. we're going to go to the line, we're going to find the midpoint, we'll make it 5. And we're then going to get another arc, snap to the two corners doesn't really matter yet and then we're just going to make it perpendicular to either of those and it will just snap there and that would just snap it like that and we finish the sketch and we click revolve oh you see here we just need to select all three parts and an axis and there we go that's the main structure done next job so you need to focus on focus on the top part. So we're gonna, dro we're gonna drop a plane, origin, and we're just gonna drop it out five. Uh, my spine. There we go. Uh, spin it around. Start a sketch here. And we're gonna start projecting the job. Start by projecting some geometry. So we're just gonna snap that, 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 and that. Pretty simple. And we're gonna grab an arc. And we're then just going to snap it to each of the upper corners. And then we're going to make it tangent to that. Click finish sketch. And we're then going to when it wants to do what it wants to do. Better if I do that. Finish. Extrude. Ah, there we go. Pass this through. And we're going to make it 12 mil. And now we're going to do a circular pattern. Set like that. Rotation axis is going to be Y, and we're going to make 4. And we're going to click OK. Now this is not best practice, but it's a quick model, and these models are more to be decorative than purely to be made, so I'm allowing myself to cheat on that part. And we're going to start a sketch. Now, before we actually do anything, I'm actually going to make that plane disappear. Okay, right now we're going to drop some circles. Find your set point. And go drop one, drop one anywhere, and then you make it tangent to the edges. There you go. The next one you need to do is you're going to grab the centre point so it's concentric and you're going to make it so it snaps just beyond those corners. This is going to trim off all those sharp edges until it's like the round cut cup shape. Click finish and we're going to extrude so you just go select it. Then you go select cut to bubble and that click OK. And there you go, it's pretty much at a similar point to last time. The last job is just to apply some fillets, so I'm just going to use 2mm. It's already been from where I had it last time, and we're just going to click apply. So that's most of it done, and therefore we then just need to add one last plane. And so we're just going to snap there. I'm just going to snap it right about there. So, 
long as you can actually put a hole in, because the next job is really just to put a hole in. So you can thread your string, thread your th string through. I was going to say two and a half mil hole. Pretty beefy hole for a bit of thread, but either way, it doesn't really matter. And extrude, and we're just going to set it to to all. Click OK and disable it. Disable the work plane, and there you go. You've essentially got work plane. As well as set it to cut. There we go. And now it's just a bit of really just a bit of colouring in. I generally what do I normally go for? Oh I know. So if we just go if you just got so, so I usually go for the bottom globe. Let's find some polished steel. There we go, steel polished. Now then, if we now go up here, set this, so edit, we can now apply a tint. So you go like a blue, and you can then define it. And you see, I've now got, see, I've now got the blue part, and if I go further down, and then go down. What did I use last time? Ooh, let's go maybe say it like So then we're just gonna basically just change the top out. No, I don't like that. But essentially you can customize it how you want it to be if you wanna find so if I go for like silver. You can essentially just tweak it as you want, find silver. Well that looks better. Now obviously just select the parts you want to turn silver. Rinse and repeat, and once you got something like that, there you go. There's a bull bull. That's it, that's the first one. It's really as simple as that. Obviously you can customise it, change the appearance, change the material, change the shape, do what you feel like, be happy with it. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you in the next see you in the next one. Goodbye.